Pokemon Legends Arceus. Hooray! No. All right, and I caught the Gligar. Hooray! Now we can finally do the intro. Well, I can finally do the episode. Okay, so now we do the intro. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. This is Pikachu Master 542 with another exciting new Pokemon playthrough or let's play or potato, potato, tomato, tomato, that kind of stuff. My name is Pikachu Master 542. And today we're going to be playing a new game called. Put you over there. Dudley, 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 That's the new game that we're going to play. Excuse me one moment. So yeah, that's the new game we're going to be playing. And also this is the first episode. Episode of Uno. Uno, 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 Uno. Uno. Excuse me. So yeah, I just got this a couple of days ago. I think on Monday, 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 Jazz hands. <clears throat> and I would have played it sooner, but my family was over. Well, my family had a day off on Wednesday, because today is Thursday, February Third. Two. Now we sing the Thursday song. By the way, this is just completely off the cuff, and I tend to do a bunch of improv. So, uh, now we do the Thursday song. Also, it's kind of a bit of a reference, so if you know the reference, then yay! Do, 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 do. Thursday is a something day. It's the fourth day of the week. Thursday is a something day. It's the fourth day of the week. Something you want to do on a Thursday. Yapper, yapper. Thursday is a taco day. It's the fourth day of the week. Cha cha cha. Yepper, stop barking at the audience. You're going to scare them away. Yep, 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 yep. Ah, stop eating me. I know I ate a chicken sandwich, but it would not taste like chicken. Or a Pokemon equivalent to chicken. Alright. So. Before we get to play Pokemon Legend Arceus, I'm going to be showing off to you guys my plushie of the day, Jazz Hats. This first plushie, also if you don't see why I look over there, is because I'm looking at my tablet. And no, not a script, because I am not an actor. I don't even know how to the act. To be or not to Pikachu. Okay, 
So, my first plushie, this first plushie, is my OG Pikachu plushie. You can tell by how old he is. It's true, you are old. I got you back in 2013 at a random video game shop where they sold a bunch of Pokemon figures and plushies and anime and video games. Which is no longer there because it's because it's been replaced by a freaking shoe store. There's a whole lot of them out there. And that was the one shop, maybe two shops, which I bought my video games and Pokemon stuff. And now it's a thing of the past, just like Blockbuster and Toys R Us. I love going to Toys R Us. I got a bunch of free got a bunch of free stuff. And also participate in a bunch of giveaways. And also could have won some stuff, but I always lose. Cause I I have bad luck and I never win any contests. Except for that one time in which which I won tickets to go see Spider Man Homecoming in the Chinese amphitheater. And then like you know the Ch in the old theater in California. That was a fun day. I just wish I could have bought a Spider-Man popcorn bucket. But it's the thing of the past, so I can't change the past. I can only go, I can only head towards, head towards the future. So yeah, I got it back in 2013 when I was 14 years old. And now I'm really old. You're old too, you know. Also, car in the background. Curse you, car! Alright. So, yeah, this is my Pikachu plushie. This next plushie is my Togepi plushie. And he's just as old as Pikachu. It's true, you're almost as old as Pikachu. Stop slapping me! I said stop! Stop using, stop using Metronome! Yeah. So this token pee plushie, I got kind of a sad story because I got him on the day the police found Robin Williams, who sadly passed away. Yeah, kind of a coincidence. But I still love you, token pee, and I'm never letting you go, my precious, my precious. Use metronome. Let P let Togepi sit, Yamper. And also, here's my third plushie. A Yamper plushie that I, that I bought, I think, this year or last year. So he's very young. And not like me. Because I'm old. <laughs> Why do I have to be so old? I remember growing up with VHS tapes. And watched Pokemon on VHS tapes. While well, we're old too. I mostly watch it on cable on cable TV. So yeah, this is my Yapper plushie. Also, I wanted to get a Yapper plushie, but they cost too much on eBay. I'm not wasting thirty bucks on a single Yapper plushie. So I so luckily I found this at my local Best Buy. And it didn't cost that much. So yeah, here's my Yapper plushie. No, you can't drink Pepsi. Soda's not good for you. Yipper, 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 yipper. Well, I'm different. I'm a human. Okay. So without that, so with the plushie of the day ending, now we can finally play some Pokemon Legend Arceus. But first I have to put, put in the game. So... Now we switch to the screen to show the game, I mean the footage. You know what I meant. Oh yeah, I also have Genesis, I have Pokemon TV, because I like to watch Pokemon. I'm a Pokemaniac. Maniac, maniac. Something, 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 dancing to the end. Okay, now we're going to put in the video game. 
got this game. Oh, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Okay. Now we have Pokemon Legend Arceus in the Switch. And now we can finally play some Pokemon Legend Legends Arceus. A new update is, is available. It will be downloaded now. No! Why? 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 Ah! Curse you, downloadable data! Why? Now I have to wait a long time! Ah ha ha ha! Ah ha ha! Oh, okay, it's done. Okay, let's play. Oh. I'm going to have to raise up the volume. Nintendo Switch. And two, friend, two of my friends are online. Presented by Game Freak. Choose your language. Let's see. I know. I'll choose. Uh, let's see. Which one is Japanese? I know. I win. Do it in Spanish. Just kidding. In English. I'm not good with, with Spanish. Whatever you see now saving on the screen, your progress is being automatically saved. Okay. Welcome to my realm. Located beyond both. Time and space. It is well that our it is well that thou art here. I am that which humans call Arceus. Now I wish to know thine appearance. Let's see. I am definitely a girl. No, just kidding, I'm a dude. He has like brown eyes, but this one doesn't. But I'm more palely than that, than that. So I'll choose this. What is thy name? Simple. My name is is Pikachu. Just kidding. It's Manuel. All is correct and as it should be. Yes. Manuel, soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. Manuel, seek out all Pokemon and thou shalt find me once more. Pokemon Legends Arceus Loading, loading, loading Wake up! Oh, do wake up, won't you? Oh, 
Are you alive, my boy? Ugh. You gave me quite a shock, falling from the sky like that. But thank goodness you seemed unharmed. Who are you? Where am I? Who are you? I'd like to ask you the same. I mean, you fell out of the sky, you understand? Come now, who in the world does that? I must say, your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? I doubt it. I don't know. I doubt it. I see. You seem to be in a, in a bit of a pickle. Might I offer you? Might I offer some directions? Do you have somewhere around here you could stay? No, nowhere. I don't know. No, nowhere. Mm -mm. So you don't know anyone here, and you don't even know where to spend the night. Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? I don't know what to do. Somehow, I guess. I don't know what to do. Huh. Hmm. I see. Well, no gentleman would have bet in a person in such need. Run, run! Sit the crown! Oh my! I completely, for I completely forgot. I had just caught up to these three run run runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. It's almost as if they knew you'd appear. Ah, but do you even know what a Pokemon is? Of course I do. Not exactly. Of course I do. Mm -hmm. My, that's a relief. Though you fell from, though you fell from the sky, it seems we have some common ground, eh? Well, yes. These three Pokemon belong to me. Mysterious creatures that they are. Oh yes. And what might your name be? Oh! Oh ho ho! So you're called Manuel! That name has quite the ring to it. I imagine it must have some lovely meaning. Oh, but I do apologize. I haven't, intru I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Lavington. I am somewhat of a Pokemon professor. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as... Uh... Oh, blast and bother! My darling Pokemon! Why must you run away from me again? Why? 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 I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you could help me round them up? I beg you. <sighs> Wait, you three! Wait! It's a whole new world we live in. Pokemon just oh wait, wrong wrong one. There's a glowing beeping object over there. You found something that resembles a phone. Probably your phone, but it changed shape. You feel a strange power emanating from it. Ah, a message appeared on the screen. I bestow upon thee this arc phone and thy mission. Seek out all Pokemon. Uh.
Oh, he's hammering. Ah, alas, yet another miss. Ah, I'm glad you come to ret I'm glad you come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. I tried catching my little runaway runaways by tossing some pokeballs their way, but I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see. I'd love to give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you a bit about these three first. Now, that one is Rowlet. Rowlet can photosynthesize like a plant, and apparently it battles using its sharp feathers. Rowlet, 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 Rowlet. That one over there is Cyndaquil. The fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it is surprised or irritated. Cyndaquil! The Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. Oshawott naps while floating on the water, and it can battle using the shell-like object on its belly. Oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing, how to go about catching Pokemon. Here you are, my boy, Pokeballs. Throw these at Pokemon to catch them. Ooh, 50 Pokeballs. Pokeball, a mysterious ball that can be thrown at wild Pokemon in order to catch them. These balls can be crafted by hand if you gather the necessary materials. Ah, that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. Now, I've mentioned already that Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to minuscule size. And that's where Pokeballs come in. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see. Throw one, throw one of them at a, at a Pokemon and, why, the Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball, comfy as can be, and with that, you've caught a Pokemon. I know we, we've just, I know we've just met, but I'm afraid I have no one else to turn to. I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch my three water runaways. Now, the proper technique is to take aim at the Pokemon, then let the ball fly. It's quite simple. Though far it, though far it be from me to say so, I suppose, given my own dire lack of skill in this area. It's okay. Okay. Wait, first I need to... Where the heck is Rowlet? You've caught a Pokemon! It seems you're, you've quite the knack for this Pokemon catching business, Manuel. Joyful, you jolly useful skill to have around here. Only two of my darling runaways left now. Still, this is most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. I can hardly 
believe it, Manuel. Incredible! You know, many people fear to even approach Pokémon. Never mind catch them. Bravo indeed. Just one more to go. Let's wrap this up. Let's wrap this up sharpish. Sharpish. Shall we? Yes, I'm afraid that could happen. Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another go, old boy. Thank you very much, indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. You see, the three Pokemon you caught have only just arrived at the village to help with our research. They won't listen yet to... They won't yet listen to anyone. And as I mentioned, they bolted from the village almost as, as if they knew you'd come falling. But I must say, Manuel, I was taken back by how well you use Pokeballs. How is it that you catch Pokemon so ivory when you've only just arrived here? One can't help but one can't help but one can't help but think there's a reason you appeared here and now. Seek out all Pokemon. That object is an arc phone, you say. What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? If you'll indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream to compile this region's first complete record of its Pokémon. We in the field call such a catalog a Pokédex. Yes, a proper Pokédex is a wonderful work of research, containing detailed records of all the Pokémon to be found in a region. But, in order to properly document Pokémon, one must, of course, catch them. And therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokéballs only... Pokeballs have only just been invented, and not many have mastered the skill of using them. Enter you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokemon. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon, and mine is to have Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon, and mine is to have all those Pokemon caught. A situation ripe for teamwork, don't you agree? Come now, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my boy? You convinced me. Well, uh, you've convinced me. Mm -hmm. Then whoever and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. We've a Pokedex to complete. First things first, let's get these Pokemon back to the village. Then we'll sort out our logic and find you some proper clothes and a meal and all that. Follow me, then. Onward to Jubilee Village. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe, my good guardsmen. This young man was of great assistance to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you'll forgive my bringing him into the village for a bit. Mm.
This way, if you please. Jubilee Village, it's come a long way thanks to this road we're on now is known to the locals and it's kind of uh, the village was built secretly two years ago. There's much to do and hmm? shh, he'll hear you. Oh no, what manner of dress is that? Now that impressive building up, okay, I understand you'd be more than tad curious about this village. Does the professor know that child? Does that professor know that child? It goes too quickly. I understand you must be more than a tad curious about the village, bro. Seriously. Oh, botheration. I'd almost forgot. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escaped Pokemon. Might I ask you to wait for me at the canteen? It's just past this bridge here, then to the left, the Wallflower it's called. Da -da 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 -da. Your arc phone is beeping. Somehow it seems to show you where you need to go next. Cool. This region is huge, and there's lots of dangerous Pokemon too, but you came here anyway. How come? Good question. Kanala Bridge. Commander, Commander Commando is fascinatingly strong. Rumor has it. He once set a Pokemon flying with one of those sumo throws he's so proud of. Hmm. Well now, aren't you awfully suspicious? The wallflowers for Galaxy Team Folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along! <sighs> Who are you? I've never seen anyone dressed like you. I've never seen anyone dressed like you are. What if you were attacked by a Pokemon? You'd be mint meat in those flimsy clothes. If the guard let if the guard let you through, you must have ties with somebody in the village. Hmm. Perhaps you've met Professor Lavington. He's a scholar from a faraway place. His Pokemon do get away from him, at, from him at times, though. It makes me a bit worried for him. I suppose I'm hardly one to talk. I've had some trouble with Pokemon myself. I was hit by a Pokemon move called Thundershock not long ago. I had to take my bed. But the professor, well, I do wonder how long he'll last. Unfortunately, it's just as Akari says. I'm, clubs I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. <whistles> professor! Gasp! But everything will be quite alright now. Manuel here has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. <sighs> Excuse me? You plan to appoint him to the Survey Corps? You can't just slap a badge on whoever you like without Captain Silene's permission. All out. <laughs> Captain Silene! Assuming the individual can con contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. I am the captain of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You may call me Siley. Professor Lavington has told me how you... Professor Lavington has told me how you helped secure his Pokémon when they slipped his control. 
and now it seems he would like us to like us to feed and household in exchange for your ongoing labor. Hmm. You look to be fifteen or so. Quite old enough to work for your keep. Especially what with an attitude. So you're a teenager with you're a teenager with attitude. But we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us without any idea of their skills or origins. Tomorrow, we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh ho! A most, reason a most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite alright. I prefer to eat alone so I might appreciate my meals without distraction. Aloof as always, I see. Well, no matter. The rest of us shall. The rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversation, eh? Betty, oh, Betty, old chum. The usual potato mochi, if you please. But make it for three today. Wonderful stuff, Ben, Benny. Much obliged. Your potato mochi never failed to please. Hmm. Professor Levington, where exactly do you meet our visitor here? Ah, well, you know, you know of that great hole in the sky, and what people call the space-time rift. Our new friend fell right out of it, and he was screaming like, "Ah, ah!" Like that. You can't be serious. I don't believe you, Professor, with your crazy beady hat. Mm -hmm. Come now, I am a scientist. A brilliant scientist, after all. I mean, I did see two weird, weird people fight in the mountains, and one of them turned into a giant gorilla in armor. My job is to observe a and explain any and all phenomena. Phenomena. I concern myself only with facts. Now, you already know there are many Pokemon here in the Hitsuji, Hitsui region. That there are, in the grass, in forests, by water, or wherever they like. Our job as the Survey Corps is to research them and find out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It's all but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess or what sorts of wondrous things they can do. But that's where Manuel will come in. <laughs> He, success he successfully caught three Pokemon, three of them in quick order, you understand? Nobody in the Galaxy team is capable of a feat such as that. This means we can finally begin our Pokemon research in earnest. Three? You have a hard enough time catching even one when wild Pokemon come after us. Ah, uh, well to be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled to the beach weren't on the attack. The key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well. It seems our new friend is fearless enough to do just that. Does the Survey Corps really have that? Really have the leeway to be enjoying a leisurely meal with this outsider? Your captain just ordered ten whole portions of potato mochi, you know. The slow progress on that Pokemon of yours clearly has her on the edge. I'm sure we'll start to rate in the good captain's stress eating soon enough. Now, have your fill, Manuel. And think, if you make it into the Galaxy team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. The team provides for all its members' needs, even if said members fell out of the sky and yelled.
That was quite delicious. Quite delicious indeed. Yes, the food was lovely, but more importantly, do you remember that Manuel has to has a trial to pass to join the survey corps? Don't you? Not to worry. I have complete confidence in Manuel's skills. Let's hope it's not misplaced. Manuel, was it? For tonight at least, we will, we will provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters there. But if you fail to pass the trial, we put to you tomorrow. But if you fail to pass the trial, we put to you tomorrow. You must move on. You will be expelled from the village to meet your fate, and perhaps your death in the wilds. <sighs> Captain Sai leads somewhat like Hisui, in that they're both quite harsh. Now, now, she simply puts on a stern front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turned in for the night, eh? It's a good thing one can't fall out of the futons we sleep in here. I imagine our new friend has had enough falling for one day. And with that, I bid you both a good night. La 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 la. Yes, good night. A rift in the sky, people falling from it. The world is full of mysteries. The captain, uh, the captain of the survey car, Silene. I wonder if anything actually scares her. Uh, I know her style a fresh outlook. The fresh output lets you change your fortune. La 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 la. I love it. Completely different experience. Ooh, we have a place to ourselves. Let's see, there's a little cooking area and it's a jug used to store drinking water. It has a lid on to keep debris from falling in. Oh, handy. Survey tips contains all sorts of stuff. Menu. Okay. Let's see. Uh, anything else? This chest looks like you could store lots and lots of items in, in it. Place to myself. The dress it's a dresser of very solid construction. Or extra sets of clothes can be kept. Cool. Looks looks like a Pepsi Cola Pokemon shirt. Uh, oh yeah. Actually I have a Pepsi right here. Except it's a mini Pepsi. I'll retreat my mini Pepsi. It Or cheers. <sighs> oh, one more. Time. I had to burp, sorry. Now let's switch back. Okay. Let's see. Anything else? We have a bed, and possibly a mirror. Nope, just this. Our five principles. One, behave with curtsy to others. Two, 
Superiors are owed your respect. 3. Likes and dislikes are a luxury ill afforded. 4. Those who are weaker must be helped. 5. Difficulties must be faced head on. It's a full length mirror. Wow, a mirror. Don't break it. It's a paper lantern. It seems to use oil as its fuel. Now we rest. Rest until tomorrow morning? Yes. <sighs> Alright, I think this one we're gonna... <sighs> I think this one this is what I'm gonna edit here. So the guys watching. Episode one of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Now sitting on some napkins. Excuse me. Hope you all have a great week, and see you next time. This is Pikachu Master 542 signing out. Peace, have a great week. Bye, and stay awesome. Pika, 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 Pikachu, Pika. Ooh. See ya.